Uh, so I am seven years old and I'm sitting in class and I'm panicking because I feel like I'm a complete failure. And the teacher's coming around and I know I'm gonna have to tell her. And when she gets to me, she's like, why isn't your assignment finished? And the assignment is to make a Father's Day card with 10 things you love to do with your dad. And I have five things. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm, I'm so sorry. I don't see my dad very much. I can't think of anything else. And she's like, oh, don't worry about it. That's fine, that's fine. And I'm so relieved because I like got away with it. But also like, I feel bad because the thing about my dad is he worked nights and I didn't see him very much, right? But when we did hang out, I loved my dad and everything I had written on the paper, I loved to do with him. I loved to go camping, canoeing, off-roading, hiking, fishing, total tomboy. And we would go on these crazy adventures together that were so important to me every summer. One summer we went off-roading in this Toyota over these boulders and my dad had found this like sort of path in the forest and we get to the lake after like hitting my head on the roof of the truck a few times and we take the canoe off the roof of the truck and put it in and he lets me pick which island we're gonna stay on which I think is really cool because I mostly live in my imagination at this point so like I'm looking for a good island with good forest and good walking terrain where I can pretend that I'm Gandalf's granddaughter, who uh, for whatever reason didn't make it into the Lord of the Rings books, but she's magic, she exists, and Frodo's really lucky that she's around because she's saving the day for the hobbits all the time. So, but when I'm not doing that, I'm hanging out with my dad one-on-one, -on -one, and he's teaching me how to fish, and he's teaching me how to make a fire, and. He didn't really have many friends, so he's also just talking to me. And he would talk to me about people at work, problems he was having, his political beliefs, history, whatever. And it made me feel like I was a, his peer, I was an adult. And I didn't want to be a kid, obviously, so that was great. And the start to every summer would be marked by this one trip that we would take every year. Ever since before I was born, my dad and his friends had this festival that they would throw in a campground, and it was called the Chili Festival. And what it was was them and a bunch of their friends would go out there, get super competitive and kind of silly, and drink a lot of beer and make chili. And their one completely flamboyant friend, Scotty, would be the chili ranger. And he would go around at the end of the weekend and he would judge your chili. And then there'd be prizes and, and a party and it was a really big deal. And all the kids would play by the beach while this was going on, but the year that I was eight, it was different. I was even more excited about the chili festival because my dad had told me that we were gonna make the chili together. So I was gonna be doing the adult thing. I was gonna be participating in the competition. So we drive there and we pull into our campsite. We put our tent together. We set up our tarps along the edge of the campsite because you don't want anyone in the other campsites seeing what you're doing. Knowing like the ingredients you're putting in your chili. And we've got our picnic table and our big waterproof kind of Rubbermaid camping container that we're unpacking. And there's whatever, the Coleman furnace thing, what's it called, Coleman stove, and our ingredients. And there's this plastic bag and my dad reaches into the plastic bag and he pulls out this yellow package. And it's like one of those like Tex-Mex kind of, <laughs> Spice mix, chili, like I've seen them at home before. And, <laughs> and he shows it to me and he's like, Crystal, 
They call me Chris, so he's like, Chris. I didn't have time this year to get stuff ready, like I usually do. So we're going to cheat. <laughs> and I feel like someone's like taken a cement truck and poured cement down the back of my jacket cuz cuz we're going to we're going to cheat. We're going to cheat the chili festival. And he takes the little yellow package, the like El Paso, and he puts it back in the plastic bag, like deep in the plastic bag. So if anyone comes by, they won't see it. And he keeps taking like out the ground beef and the beans, and I'm kind of retreating towards the edge of the campsite, and I start pacing a little bit, and I'm I'm going back to Middle Earth at this point, and I'm like I'm trying to find the hobbits and where have the orcs got them tied up because. Because I'm here, I'm going to save the day with my magic. Until eventually my dad calls me back over. And he's like, Chris, come stir the chili. So he's got the ground beef all fried and the beans going. Like, I don't actually like chili, so I don't, I'm not totally sure what's in chili. When I go camping, I like to eat hot dogs. But he's got it going, and he gives me this long wooden spoon, and he tells me to stir. And then he reaches back into that plastic bag. And he pulls out the El Paso. And he's ripping it open, and he's dumping it into the pot. And I'm cooking in this, this giant like um, camping pot. It like, wasn't good enough for at home, but it was like this metal pot that was good enough for camping. So I'm stirring as he's dumping this stuff in here. And I'm like looking around, and I'm like, so sure we're going to get caught. And, uh, and then he's like, when you stir, you have to scrape the bottom so it doesn't burn. So I. I'm making sure I'm getting the bottom, making sure the chili doesn't stick, and I'm, I'm stirring and I'm stirring, and my dad's best friends, Tom and James, come through, and my dad's telling them, like, you know, they're kind of trying to scope out the competition, like the, you know, and my dad's like, oh, Chris made the chili this year. This is, this is Crystal's chili. And they're like, oh, wow, you must be so excited. And I'm like, yeah. I'm just stirring it like this zombie kid, right? Like, totally checked out, completely numb. And uh, I'm just waiting, because I know that when the chili ranger comes, I'm going to get caught. <laughs> I know. The chili ranger's got a badge, and he's got a cowboy hat, and he's older than my dad, and for, sh like, for sure. So it gets to be 5 o'clock, and sure enough, chili ranger, his name's Scotty. Scotty comes through. He's with Sherry, his girlfriend. She's really cool. They're, they're not married. They're just, he, she's his girlfriend. And then <laughs> the, other, the other judge with, with Scotty is there, Dave. So, I mean, there's maybe six people max in our campsite, but it feels like there's a hundred people there. And I'm just like, I, I know we're about to get find, found out. And with the theatrics of the chili festival, like of course the chili ranger has this huge spoon and a beer in the other hand, and he sticks the spoon into the chili and he like tries it. And my dad's been going like, "This is Chris's chili. Chris made it," and he tries it, and I'm like, and he's like, "Oh, that's great. Yeah, that's great. Try it, everybody." And uh, everyone's trying the chili, and I'm just like waiting and waiting, and and then I realize that we're getting away with it. And sure enough, after they leave, my dad's like, okay, you can go play on the beach for a while. It's going to be a while. they got to taste all the chili. So I go down to the beach, which is Middle Earth, and I, uh, <laughs> I'm, I'm right back to it, right back to my magic quest until Sherry, Scotty's cool girlfriend, comes and gets me. And she's like, hey, you made the chili with your dad. Like, you got to come. Like, everybody's, everybody's at the main camping site things. And I'm like... I feel like maybe I could just be part of the beach, like if I was a tree, but I'm dragging myself all the way. I go to the middle of the campsite, which is uh, this clearing where there's this cement block where the water pump is, where everyone gets their water when they're camping. and. Again, there's like maybe 20, 30 people there, but to me, there's a thousand people there because everyone's bigger than me. 
everyone's been drinking all weekend, and there's no kids. It's just adults. And Sherry's got all her prizes that she's made. She makes the prizes herself, and I've always thought that they're really cool. She makes aprons, she sews towels, bags, and that's what you get if you win the chili festival, right? So she's getting that stuff ready. There's people milling about. I'm standing next to my dad, and he's telling everybody that I made the chili. I only stirred the chili, and, and we cheated. But he's telling everyone that I made the chili, and then Sherry's announcing third prize. And she's like, OK, third prize goes to Debbie and Brian. And Debbie and Brian come up, and they're like, yeah. And they get their, uh, <laughs> they get their tea towel with a red chili pepper on it, and they hold it up. and they. The, uh, the cement block where the water pump is, that's like the podium, so they stand up there and they're like, yay. And then I'm kind of relieved, and I'm like, this is almost over. And then Sherry calls out, OK, second prize goes to Tim and Diane. And uh, Tim and Diane come up, and they get their apron. It's like spiffy-looking green apron with a chili pepper on it, everything has a chili And I'm like, ah, oh, it's a nice a nice apron. I'm kind of like upset. I'm like, I failed. Like, I want to win. And then Sherry's calling out my name. She's saying first prize, Crystal and Bruce. Br Bruce is my dad. And my dad is standing right next to me. He's like, no, no, go up there by yourself. You made the chili by yourself. <laughs> and I'm like, oh. And I go up there, and, and I get hoisted onto this podium, and I'm given this, this green bag, and it's got a chili pepper on it. And I can hear people. I can hear people in the audience, which is really just a crowd of people, saying, there's no way a kid made chili. There's no way a, there's no way a kid won the chili festival. Like, what's going on? And I know that they know I cheated. And I know that it's my fault. And I'm about to get exposed. And they want me to hold up this bag and pose for this photo. So I do that. And I'm, you know, there's, there's, oh, this photo is just there. I'm smiling. And uh, people are coming up to congratulate me. And they're saying, like, oh, good job. You won the Chili Festival. I'm like, thank you. And they're like, oh, you can use that bag for school. And I'm like, thank you. And they're like, wow, like, you're so good at making chili. What'd you put in it? And I'm like, thank you. <laughs> And uh, the end of the weekend, we're, we're, we go home and we get to my get to my parents' house, and I still have this bag for some reason. No one's taken it from me. It's like it's it's like I stole it, but I got away with it because it's mine. It's got a chili pepper on it. And I go into my parents' basement when we get home, and I find the hooks in the basement where my dad hangs his hunting jackets, and I kind of push them aside until I find a clear hook. And I, I hang it up there, kind of like, I, and I take the camouflage jackets, like the, the sleeves, and kind of like tuck them in front of it. And then I, then I go back upstairs. Thanks. <laughs>